All right, everybody, welcome back to the Millennial Sales Podcast. This is your host, Tommy Tahoe Alemo. Uh, excited to get into this episode with you all. Uh, happy Monday. This is where we help young salespeople get after it in their career, um, make more money, get promoted, build the skills they need, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going solo in this one. Uh, I'm going to talk about a few things that are um, you know, top of mind for me that I've been posting on LinkedIn that have been getting some reactions. So I figured I'd, I'd share here uh, in more detail in a verbal context. Um, before I get into all that good stuff, let's make sure that you are subscribed to the show on Apple, on Spotify, on YouTube. Uh, you're following me on Twitter and Instagram, Tommy Tahoe, posting every single day there, posted every day on LinkedIn. Um, and let's also give a shout out to our sponsor, Postal.io. Uh, in a world where, you know, it's so difficult to uh, build relationships in sales when everything is virtual. Um, it's hard to do that over Zoom. Post helps to kind of break the mold there uh, by sending very personalized gifts to customers or partners or prospects, right? So instead of it being a generic thing, it can be from the florist on the street corner or the local brewery, um, helping you create bonds, create connections. Uh, I personally use them both for uh, customers as well as you know, podcast guests, people I'm networking with. Um, I, I work with some customer success managers. I sent them a little DoorDash gift card uh, from Postal this week as a thank you for the first half of the year. It was greatly appreciated. So don't forget to, um, you know, try to cheer some people up and build relationships that way. Uh, it's an important thing to do. So today's topic, one of my most, uh, one of my favorites, uh, playing the long game, right? And uh, I posted this uh, on Monday, last Monday on LinkedIn, and uh, I got quite the reaction, and uh, I figured I'd elaborate on it. But but what I said was, last month I was feeling super stressed about work, quotas, deals, running two podcasts simultaneously. Then I wrote myself a note. It's a blue sticky note that reads, 30 years, not 30 days. Uh, don't put much weight on the emails and calls that seem so important in the short term. Focus on the long term building skills, building relationships, habits that will benefit you. We all face peaks and valleys. The best are able to stay even keel enough to last and play the long game this week. So that is a true story. I got the, the sticky note on my desk. I'm staring at it right now. And what that means to me, 30 years, not 30 days, right? Think about all the things that you are potentially uh, feeling pressure on, stress on, things like that. Right. It's probably a call that you might have or a deal that's maybe going south or, you know, pretty early in the quarter. You're thinking about your quota. How the hell am I going to hit that? How am I going to sell that? Um, maybe it's even more uh, personal stuff that are, are going on in relationships or, or your own personal life as well, I'm sure. Uh, but the things that matter, let's even take it back from 30 years. Let's take it to, to five years. Right. The things that matter are not that call and whether that call goes well or not, right? The thing that matters is how you continue to progress, right? I had shitty calls five years ago. They, I don't even, you know, I, I barely remember them, right? Because what mattered was how I reacted to that and how I responded to that and improved based on that, right? And so although these things are, are very acute and they feel very sensitive in the moment or they can, um, the, the important thing is, the skill set that you're building, right? The relationships that you're building, the habits that you're building. And, you know, Jim Rohn says, you know, uh, I'm paraphrasing, but essentially uh, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. And not to say you shouldn't be working hard and, and hustling uh, in your sales job and trying to make the calls and emails that you need to make, but work harder on yourself, right? Give, give yourself the habits that you need, right? Uh, you know, set a morning routine, set an evening routine, prep for the the day before, you know, the night before, prep for that next day. Um, you know, make sure your mindset's right. You know, if you need to journal or meditate or do something to get your head right in the morning, do that, you know, exercise, all these things, right? And those are the habits that help build you up. Anytime you have a, a, a tough day, write down what went wrong. What did you learn from it? Try to do it better the next day. And by getting 1% better incrementally every day, that's how you see massive leaps. And when you're focused more on that long-term game, the short-term losses don't really mean anything, right? It's like uh, if you look at the, to compare the stock market of like uh, 
you know, of the U.S. from, you know, 1870 something to now, it goes way from bottom left to top right, right? Like, you know, if you look at it, it's almost like a straight line going up. But within that, there are so many peaks and valleys going way up and way down and recessions and bull markets and bear markets and all these things that go on. And that is very relative to what our careers can be and what our life can be, right? If we're going in that, uh, you know, jagged motion up and down, up and down, that's pretty normal, right? That's going to happen to everyone, whether you're, you know, Richard Branson going into space or whether you're you and I that are trying to hit a sales quota. So all that matters is that in general, you are going up and to the right. And if you find yourself going, you know, down for too long, then maybe there needs to be some adjustments. But if it's, you know, here and there, the peaks and valleys, it's all normal. It's all relative. I recommend maybe making a note to yourself on that to keep playing the long game, the skills, the habits, and the relationships. Those are three things that you want to keep growing, keep compounding on top of each other. So that's what's top of mind for me right now. Uh, meanwhile, I do have a big quota in Q3 and not quite sure how to get there. So mildly stressed on that at the same time while trying to play the long game. So for everyone that's out there, um, thank you for listening. Let's get after it this week. We're back with a normal long form interview coming uh, on Wednesday. Uh, take care of yourselves. Talk to you on Wednesday. Peace. What's up, everybody? Thanks for checking out that podcast. Uh, happy July to you. Uh, would love if you took 22 seconds and hit subscribe wherever you're listening or watching this. Uh, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, your favorite podcast player. And be sure to check out some of my content on LinkedIn. Uh, I'm Tom Alamo. And on Twitter and Instagram, I'm at Tommy Tahoe. Have a great day. Make it legendary. Peace.